everybody welcome to another one of my videos so I am really excited to do this video today I don't know why but yeah I am finally going to share with you guys my current planners and journals that I use this is literally just what I am using at the moment so it's gonna be fairly quick I hope but you guys know me so be prepared to possibly stick around for a while and if you do I hope that you um, consider subscribing at the end and like this video so that I can continue to know that you guys like these kind of content so without further ado we are just going to strictly um, I just wanted to quickly share my everyday planner I may end up switching the cover for September I'm contemplating it I just got I'll show you guys a new a new pre-loved camel that I actually conditioned so as you can see it is very dark already it is not the color of a normal camel so I conditioned it with the leather conditioner and I will put the link of the one that I used on it it doesn't seem like it damaged the leather at all again this is a pre-loved so it does have a few scuffs and marks on it but i feel like now that i conditioned it it kind of you know gave it a little more of an even tone so i actually really love it it does definitely feel different than my olive my olive is fuzzy and the camel it still is a little bit fuzzy but it's also um i would say a little bit smooth but not as smooth as the black for sure the black is is like a like a satin texture so it is still a little bit fuzzy um so yeah so i'm probably going to be moving into that i will be doing a tn cover collection video soon um so keep an eye for that but this is my passport everyday planner and I just have a clear um, insert, a craft folder, the monthly, the short trip insert, and the Sweet Freckle Designs notebook which is the leatherette cover and this one is 4 millimeter grid yeah four millimeter grid and it's Tamil river paper so this is what I use for my dailies and I really love it I love it so much and I for the most part I'm going to be continuing this system for 2024 I am be going to be getting a Nolte 1180 coming in soon so I'm gonna be doing a video on testing that out and to see if I possibly change the system but I'm going to stick in with passport size it works really well for me I love the chunkiness of it. it's definitely chunky and I can compare it to my journal so you can see this is so <laughs> it's like night it's really it's a really chunky planner but I love it and I love the way that it fits in my hand I love the way that it feels the weight is not bothersome it fits in pretty much little bags if you need um, and since I you know TNs that's the whole reason why I kind of loved the TN system because you can just it's so functional you can customize it however you'd like if you need you know I think predated inserts for me made a world of a difference um, with the planner I I am one that I can't set I do not like to set up monthlies so that is why I really did like that I can have a predated monthly but then have a customized Buho planner so it really is working for me the weekly Buho uh, setup doesn't bother me it's I think it takes me 10 to 15 minutes to set up my weekly and I'm done I'm, I'm, I'm out the door so I really do like this it's working really well and if you guys have you know any other questions on my planner and anything of that go ahead and leave a um, comment below I'm not sure I think I did just do a video on it and I tried to go as in-depth as possible so I will put the card up here in case this is something you guys want to hear more details on so that is my planner and the rest of this 
is my journals. I have three current TNs that I use in my system that I use like occasionally or like, you know. So let's just get into the first one. This is a Trains limited edition. I believe it's the 2022. Don't quote me on it, but I want to say it's 2022. And it is the black Trains edition with the gold foil. And I got this uh, also pre-loved from someone on Instagram. And this just has a craft folder that I stamped when I went to the stamp caravan in M. Love Bon, Santa Ana. And as you can see, I'm not sure if you can see, but I'm pretty sure you can. The black from the leather is staining the folder. So right here, it's it's definitely staining it. Um, I just noticed that right now, actually, because I usually don't flip to this page. But since this is just my journal, it doesn't, you know, it doesn't bother me. I typically, when I get ephemera or a receipt, I will put it in here until I'm able to add it into my journals. So for the moment, I am using the weekly dated. I bought this pre, um, I think I bought this off of somebody on the BST group and I bought it in July. Yeah, I bought it in July and I was trying to figure out what I was going to do with it until I saw my friend uh, Emily's and this is similar to how she did it but she did it with sketches and pictures and when I saw hers it really just like put it I was like that's it that's what I could use this as so this is just a fun memory keeper I only use black pen my Fudinowski brush tip marker and the pen that I use is the uni p put one the uniball 1p I think it's called and it is in the 0.5 it is thick and I will mention that sometimes it does skip but I just go over whatever I wrote again and, and whatever it is what it is. Um, in this spread, actually, I did use the Muji. So that's why it is a little bit thinner. And I'll show you guys. Um, see, this one here is the Uniball. So you can see the difference between the Muji pen and the Uniball. And I just didn't do continue with the Muji because it was really skipping on me more. And I didn't like that. So I just... I just stuck with the uni, uni ball one P and it's been working so far. I love this one when I went to BK. It was so fun and I'm really enjoying this one. This one is really fun. I really need to use my character stickers so that was essentially why I started using this. If you have been following along with my planner and journal system, I was doing these character stickers in my B6 daily planner and I did enjoy it but I just I just went out of that size because it was just a little bit too heavy to carry in an everyday um, planner and I honestly like if I want to take this, this my um, two pens and my sticker book I could do this on the go and that's typically how I journal and plan I always am out and about like I'm at my mother-in-law's or I'm at work or you know we'll take the kids to the park or something which I typically don't do it at the park but if I'm out and about and I can have a chance to do something it's way easier to carry all this rather than a big notebook and I just love how this looks so I just add a little bit of deco in the you know corner here and then I will just do quotes and my character stickers so that is the first insert that I have in here as you can see I am a few days behind today is the fourth so I'm three days behind but since I do have everything logged in my planner it's easy for me to go back and I'll just add a few errands that I did and just some highlights of the day like even if it's literally cleaning the house I still will add it 
and then the I don't have you know any any decoration on it I didn't show you the first page but I haven't decorated it or I don't do anything with this part either I was thinking of using this as a mood journal but or a mood log but I and my mood changes a lot throughout the day and it was just too much so I don't do that um, this is the back of the craft folder then when I was at the uh, caravan I also stamped this insert it's just a blank insert this stamp is from bomb Kuhan. that one's really cute I just purchased that one it's one of their new stamps and this insert is my family insert so whenever I take the kids somewhere or we do something with the kids or also if I go on like a date night or something with Louie um, I also uh, was contemplating added in it here and then I'm just doing like some updates on my kids um, sorry I said date night no that one goes that category will go in my personal journal insert which I will show you guys in a minute but this is the back of that stamped insert and then I added this sticker on the white paper I will say I love the cream Midori insert more than the white but since I have it I just started using it this is a sticker that came with the train um, set and then I also stamped the front of this when I was at the caravan this one I just like stickered on a cloth and paper journaling card because I liked it so this one is my personal in the beginning it was just um, my planner meetups because that was when I got it so when I was at the caravan which was this day I journaled about this day so I used some of my friends stamps and pens and this one came out really cute um, this is Emily Jasmine and me um, when I first met them at BK and then this is the second meetup that I went to in Santa Ana when they had the stamp caravan and I hung out with all of these lovely ladies so it was super duper fun I had hung out with um, Janet and Jats at the LA Pen Show so we kind of have bonded a little bit further you know in time um, but I didn't journal about that because I wasn't journaling at that time I think the the pen show the LA pen show was in January so yeah it I, I just recently got into journaling um, and I really have been enjoying it this size works so well um, this is again another meetup and this one was what was with Sophie we met at BK and then we went to a little coffee shop and the food and the drinks were delicious so i did stamp this this is from bk when i went there with her and this one and it just i i love how this little setup came then um on that same day in the evening i was with louie and uh this was where we went so i just did a little journal on what we did after um you know i came back and then I journaled about us when we went to the Rams game. So that's what this is. And then I have to journal because on that same day as the game, we went to go see a movie because we, we went to go see the Barbie movie because we got back um, earlier than we expected. And that's what I'm journaling about next. I am going to use a pink pen. So that's why there's no writing in it because I did um, set up that spread at work so I didn't have my pen inked yet but that is my passport journal um, these are just the only three that I'm using at the moment and I think I'm going to continue that same system of one being for family and one being for personal I call it because it's like not family related so anything without the kids or you know my parents or whatever so friends um, or um, date nights or like if I go shopping on my own like things like that um, that's some things that I would add in my journal more so like um, 
I don't, I, let me find something in my personal journal that I can share with you guys. The short trip in my, let me see here. I think I can share this spread. So anything that is, um, yeah, I can share this spread. This is my short trip insert in my planner, and it is my dear diary, you know, we call it. Um, but I also will put commonplace things, so I have the vitamins that I take, I have YouTube videos idea, I have quotes, affirmations, places that I wanted to visit, some shops to look for things. Here, I added in like my BK sticker. We went out and I'll just add like different ephemera like that into this common notebook so this one is more so based on specific events I guess you can say like specific themed days and then my common notebook is more so like a dear diary kind of thing so like overall of either the event or how I'm feeling that day um, but I'm really enjoying that. So that is my second journal. This is just the 2023 um, pencil board and I do add it to the back of a few pages that I'm writing in because as I mentioned the pen that I use it will skip so it the pencil board does help to keep the surface flat so that it can kind of gr uh, glide onto the paper better i don't know why that pen has such an issue it's it's ridiculous so after that my other journal that i do use daily is my memory keeper this is um at the moment oh i have this flipped incorrectly at the moment this is um the cover that i'm using it's the brown passport with the superior labor um money clip the bigger one and the heart conch i love this heart it is so pretty i love it so much and i need to really get brass cleaner because my things are starting to really get some <laughs> wear on them it still has my cover is still doing pretty well as you can see i did get some dents from the conch so i recently started trying to put it on the end over here when i have it in my pouch so that way the back of the charm doesn't continue to make dents because I really am not a fan of dents. I don't mind scratches, but dents is the one thing. And then I got this dent here where I have no idea where that came from. It's on the back, so oh well, it is what it is. But that's one another reason why I love TNs because they're that's what they're meant for. Like when you, this is brand new and every. Th you know thing that it gets on it is really telling a story and giving its own character and just basically being unique and then you also don't have to baby it you can archive the inserts and i think that's another reason why i really fell in love with the traveler's notebook system and i'm gonna keep continue going so this has a one of my first craft folders in here with some Travelers Company stickers and my bomb cool hand stamp um, that you can only get when you go into the store. It has my uh, personalization card here, and then I did decorate my uh, insert. I use the airplane brass clip in this notebook, and then I just tipped in my you know guide that came in it i did decorate this a little bit more i love when i was able to go and i stamped a few more things in there again i'm not using this i just haven't found a way to use it and i'm okay with that i mean i don't I, the only time that i really functionally use this layout is in my planner and it works that way so I'm going to quickly flip over this. I'm not going to go into detail, but I will just quickly go over this very quickly so you guys can see my spreads. And I do post, you know, pictures of it um, on my Instagram. I just have, you know, some personal information, so I don't want, you know, a lot of information out there but 
yeah, that was it. That was that was it. Um, that's you know, that's all I can share. So that is the uh, standard size uh, July vertical weekly, and I love it. I I really do enjoy it. I did complete already the uh, first set of it, which was from January to June, and I love it. I love it so much. So I'm going to continue doing that also in 2024. So I did want to mention that. And then here, oh, so what I write in here, that's something that I didn't share. Um, I can actually share this spread. Um, in here, I just add an overview of my entire day. So I will give a few sentences of the morning of, you know, Jojo woke up in bed with me. Um, I will add if I was late to work, just like random things. And then I'll add like a middle day if I have anything in the middle of the day, if I went somewhere during lunch or um, something that stands out to me. Or I will just write what I did with the kids. I will write what kind of mood they were in. Um, things like that. Uh, I will I will add in here if we watched a movie. I will add if we played games. Like really specific details. Um, I will add what I made for dinner. Um, just sentences like that, more so based on the overall day rather than my feelings. So that's what I write in this one. And as you saw in the flip, I do change my fountain pen according to the deco. So for this week, I ended up using my, my stashed uh, sterling ink stickers. And it is the... I used this pen. It's the Sailor Snow Moon. I will leave a link to this pen. There's always deals on this on Amazon, and that is where I got it. It's beautiful. It's my favorite, and I did get the nib fixed, and yeah, because I dropped this. This was my everyday carry pen, and I dropped it, and ever since then, I was like, okay, it's not meant to be as my everyday carry, so I turned it into my journal pen after I got it fixed, and it has the Sailor... Oh snap, um, I always forget the name of it. Let me get it so that I can give you guys correct information. I just am pulling up my pen journal here. So it is the Sailor, uh, what is it? Yeah, yeah, Yurameku Amamoyoi. I don't know if I said that right, but it is this one. And it is like a green color, but it has brown tones in it. And... Who I saw that ink from was Abby. <laughs> she said she uses it in her Hobonichi weeks, like daily. And I was like, you know, let me try it. And it works really well as like a brown green because the the shading in it is definitely giving like brown, but then you get some greens in there too. So that is what I add in here. And then I just have my sticker release um, paper with a bunch of different stickers. I don't keep anything in the back folder and I will put my pencil board back here again. Um, I do keep it as well. I usually put it like on the all the way back just because this paper is a little bit more um, sturdier uh, with my fountain pen so I, I don't have really you know an issue with writing uh, with my fountain pens. I love my fountain pens so that is my memory keeper. Let me move the camera a little bit. It's in the way, sorry. And then, oh, I forgot to put my clip back. So I will keep my clip like on the page that I'm at. And I will clip it to the back holding the pencil board so that it stays in place. So that way when I need to write in it, I just open it straight to the page that I'm on. And then this is my Happy Mail insert. I really did enjoy this cover when I first got it, but now that I have it, it definitely feels, it is a little bit more fuzzy, but it's a complete different brown to my brown standard. So this one is the Starbucks brown, and I really fell in love with the color, and that is why I continued to get brown once I got this one. And when I got this new brown, I was like, wow, it is, this is a dark brown. And this one is a, is a more cafe brown than like an espresso brown. I guess that's like a way I could explain it. Um, 
but I I do like it. It's just I I don't know. I'm having a a, a thing right now where I want like a customized TN or like a different. I think I'm gonna change this out. Um, but I'm trying to think what to change it to. So for now, it's just here, and I just have this coffee bean charm that is flipped backwards. It's so cute though, and then. This little bear I got from Amoy um, Zaka, I think is the shop, and it was it came with my little one that I use in my passport everyday carry. It's so cute. I love this little bear. I really want to get the gold one, but I haven't been able to find it yet. Wow, that alarm took a while. Sorry about that. So <laughs> let's so again this is my happy mail insert and I just use the uh, the inserts that come with your covers so you know I think this one came in my brown TN so it's just the simple white insert it's nothing special um, and then I just stamped it with more stamps from the caravan actually no this one I stamped at the pen show and I just had never used it. So it was just in my in my stash. Yeah, this one was from the Caravan. So I didn't take this and this I didn't take this when I went to the um when I went to the caravan. I don't take my happy mail insert. So here I just add in literally any packaging that I get from my happy mail. And, uh, yeah, that's literally what it is. Oh, this one is falling apart. I need to put this in better. I don't flip through this often, so anything that's, like, there already, um, I, uh, I don't really touch. Um, it just stays stored in my shelf. I have a card here. And then this is my most recent. So that's it. That is what I add. Um, I don't, as you see, I don't really add like any extra stickers or um, anything. I literally just add the uh, stamp, the date stamp. I have to flip this so that it uh, goes the other way. But uh, yeah, I just add the date stamp if I want to put the date and I don't always put the date I just want to see the goodies that people send or the notes and that is what I have here and then last but not least because this is a kind of description of my entire system um, an overall I mean an over overview uh, this is the black epoca Campagna, no, it is Campagna, Slim, Slim Campagna, Slim Campagna, there we go, so it is the 16 millimeter personal size, and I will do a flip of this just because I just set it up, so I ignored Jojo's toys on my desk, um, <laughs> um, and, uh, I really like it, I love the size of it, I think it's gonna be perfect for me, I did use to use personal size as my everyday planner and after going into passport size and book bound I just I fell in love and I now really have found what works for me and it only took me a whole year you know what I mean only a year it's nothing I'm just kidding you guys it could take however long you need and you can switch in and out of sizes you do what makes you happy and that is literally my motto to everything you need to be happy that is what you deserve and that is how you should go about everything so there are obviously many factors to it you you know it took me a long time to figure out my system and i really am enjoying this a lot so yeah i just decorated this um this little card here is a freebie that i got from uh sweet freckle designs when i ordered this was actually when i had ordered her planner um but i didn't end up keeping the planner i resold it but i liked this so much so i kept it 
and then I just have a grocery guide list here this used to be in my pocket and I didn't want to throw it away because I do um, it still relates to me I just don't use it but I just have it stored here I did end up printing some out and I put it in my planner just so you guys can see I mean I know I have a flip of this but it instead of it fold out they're just uh, I just cut them shorter made it smaller and then if I need to add stuff I'll just add stuff to the list for that store I made these on Canva I don't know if I mentioned that but yeah that those work really well um, just some journaling cards, Paper Planner Bliss, Maria Plans, Sweet Freckle Designs, this one is Queen City Designs, then I have my DIY 3 card holder, I made this from lamp, no, what is it, from uh, acetate and the card pockets. I have the Quinn Study Designs card, Gracie Edits card, and then a Routine card, which still kind of relates to me, to be honest, and uh, yeah, I, I really enjoy it. This is the freebie card from Puff, Puff, Puff and Pages? Yeah, I think it's Puff and, Puff and Pages Co., if I'm not mistaken. Um, and then I have a, a Perfective Paper freebie. This is a Salty 22 freebie in pocket size, pocket plus, and I just kept it in here. As you can see, it has the pocket punches, um, but it's literally just echo. And on the back of it, I have the, um, oh my god, Vic Plans and neutral planner oh my god don't quote me on that it's been forever i've had this for a long time again i'm not in rings anymore so everything that i have is 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 old <laughs> it's it's months or years old um this is from my minimal planner this is a cloth and paper card and then i have a um oh my god cat's Brussel co acetate it is very thick and I really like it. it 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 works really well it just holds random sticky notes even though I don't use these this is literally my sticky notes that I used to use when this was my planner but I don't use it anymore then this little page marker it's engraved with the LV logo and it is from off-grid plans I am not sure if her shop is still open she also had her own shop um, on her Instagram but I, I think she's taking a break at the moment, and it is like a thick um, resin. I, don't, I think that's what it's called, like a plastic. So I have this one at the front just to mark the days. This is a Maria Plans, um, I think this came from her Patreon, or yeah, her Patreon, and I printed it on acetate, and I have a My Minimal Planner, monthly um yearly overview i love this one and i am actually needing to add my heart sticker so you guys are gonna do that with me since august is now over and we are in september and these stickers that i used i got them from high paper clouds i really like her transparent stickers and uh i just am using you know the different uh patterns in the monthly just to mark off when that month is over and then I it is double-sided so I just left it like this I don't do that like word of the year or none of that so it's just there then it goes instantly into my son's chore tracker I customized this on Canva and it is the Ivy Mill um, Ivy Mill insert Ivy Mill ink yeah she has a freebie and i'm pretty sure they are still available i used to use them as my mood tracker but i edited it and i customized it in canva so but i really really like the look of this then it goes into my reading section so as you see i'm not using dividers i think that's a big thing with this planner is that if you use personal size the side dividers will hit your pen so if you decide not to use a pen that's an option 
or you could use top or bottom tabs that's kind of what I more so recommend for this planner I definitely don't recommend side tabs but I am using these uh, paper flags page flags from Gracie edits and they're like this beautiful green color I love that color this dashboard is from my minimal planner it's one of her newer ones and it's printed on vellum layered over this freebie from EO edits then I have to update this this is a newer section to my planner and it's so funny because I actually had a few of the inserts I rebought them thinking I didn't have them to use this as a book section just because my book section I'll show you guys in a second um, in my planner is it's it I read so much that I didn't expect that and I am going to run out of space so I ended up just deciding to keep that log in my rings so this one is the yearly favorite book like what your book is I have to print the pictures to put it here so I am going to do this eventually I just haven't had a chance then I have my book log which let me compare my real one that I have in my planner and it is already I already finished the whole page this is the one that I have in my monthly note section so it is in my monthly book and it is all the way at the back so I have you know a few list pages here and that's why I love this monthly because it has those note pages in case you add want to add some notes or lists like this or what is it called um oh my god Lindsay scribbles does it. collections there you go collections so like annual collections or yearly collections that is a great thing to have in here so that is essentially what this is um it is my reading log um and then uh i do stars and that's what i continue doing here i am still transferring data as you can see um when i started this i just was messing up the dates so it's you know has white out and stuff um but as you can see i am already starting on this page and then i could use this but i just i don't know i wanted to try something different so i might end up using both actually i'm not sure yet but that's something that i that i am contemplating but i for sure want to use this just to keep it as a cute book section here so this is her book log and on Ginny's um, she does numbers here I ended up doing stars just because I love stars and I really do love like the not perfectionist of it because <laughs> my stars are not perfect so I have two uh, log two inserts of that um, and then or two pages and then I have this vellum from Sweet Freckled Designs. It is like the latte in a latte. It's so cute. And then this little journaling card up here is from Paper Planner Bliss. And on the other side, it's really nice too. It has flowers. It has peonies. So I just use this just kind of it was in here when I was using this as a daily and I've just kept it in here just because it's really pretty just a little reminder then it goes into my finance section this is a dashboard from cloth and paper and I can show you the next page I actually have to throw this out this is for 2022 so on this dashboard I keep my cash breakdown that I use after I budget my check and then I take this to the teller when I need you know to tell them what cash bills I need this is a dashboard that I made on Canva and it's just something that I actually found from a few um, places uh, the overview was from a like a dashboard I think it was uh, what's her name I can't remember her name, but I made this on Canva and then on the other side I have my spending rules and I made this myself as well and These are also from a dashboard. Oh my god. I wish I could remember her name um, But she had one and I just kind of influenced me to make one for myself 
then it goes into my monthly budget inserts and I took out all of the one actually my monthly budget is here for the year so I have all of the ones that I need and this is a custom insert from solely paper so I DM'd her on Instagram um, and she customized this for me she has been a little bit quiet lately but I feel like she still checks her account so if you guys are looking for this you could definitely reach out to her and you know customize it or get one like this for whatever size you're in if that's something that you're looking for then after that I oh the page marker that I use is from Gracie edits and this stays in my oh, I can take it out this stays in my um I'm not going to show you the other side because it has my personal, um, you know, information on the other side of my accounts. But it's the page marker from Gracie Edits and I have it, I slid it so that I can move it in between the months and I don't have to open the rings. Because that's another thing that I've learned with Jillio in my experience, it's better to not open the rings as much at all like if you could never open them that would be ideal um, I've had a lot of issues but these gold ones are very tight so I since this isn't a planner that I use every day or I don't open often I think this these rings are gonna are gonna last me very well there is a way to fix them if you have a ring planner that is having issues um, so what I learned is the trick is you open it and then when it's open, um, you actually open it with the rings here. So you pop it open. And then once it's open, these knobs will be loose. And when they're loose, you just wiggle them. You literally wiggle them side to side until the rings close. When that happens, whatever little wiggle you did, and you have to really sometimes wiggle them a lot, it will push the... Um, uh, rings closer together trust me it works I have done it on my old 25 millimeter and it works so just a little trick if you guys have issues with gapping try that trick and yeah I just continue to open it wiggle wiggle close open wiggle wiggle close and after probably like three or four times it really did close them tighter so that's that then after that it goes into my paycheck budgeting inserts which looks like this and these are customized um, I made these and I do um, still sell them if anyone wants them but there's a lot of places that you can find this I just wanted to make my own just because it was fun and then I can customize it and I really like the colors so I made my own but um, you know I do sell them blank if you want a blank one but it is gonna look similar to this so it is gonna be this color it's just gonna be in the size that you need if you need it if you want it but again not obligated I I can send you the personal link if it's something that you're looking for but I'm not like you know throwing like it, it's it's just super basic so um, the back of it has my cash breakdown and this is the information that I use for my sticky note again with, when I take it to the bank and get the cash. So that is my finance section. Then my uh, my last section is other. I'm not going to go um, into this one just because it does have like personal uh, accounts and information in it. But I did make this on Canva and it's printed on vellum. Then I have another freebie vellum from Ash Plants. The other little dashboard here is from my minimal planner and it is just the planner hashtags on there. Um, this is the last page I can show you guys. This is from Latua Notes. It's the reminder page and I literally just have an inventory of my most used icons for my planner. So that way if I'm running low or anything like that, I will add it here. So like right now I have to add um, a few new ones like my book one 
and I think like my self-care no that one's already there so yeah so that way if someone's having a sale I can look back and see how many I have and then I can order a lot of my stickers recently have been coming from paper planner bliss if you've seen my flips and my stories and my pictures on Instagram they're literally almost all paper planner bliss the other inserts are papery planning so those are the two shops that I am more so going with um, I do also use sweet freckle designs and um, I think those are more so the three that I have so those are just three of my favorite shops um, and they are all small shops and they are all owned by wonderful wonderful ladies I love all three of them so yeah and then I just have a like this is a another uh, acetate from Cat's Presso Co. It's like the window one it's called and I just have it acting as a page lifter here. At the back I have this olive color which I use to mark my paydays in my monthly budget. I will do that in the calendar. I have my identification card if it gets lost from Queen City Designs and then just that sticker that I use for the monthly. So that is it. I am just putting my page marker back in here. Um, I did want to do a flip of this just because I just got it and you know I, I don't share this often just because it's so repetitive. I don't update it. I don't do any seasonal themes or any of that. It literally stays basic and minimal and functional. That's it. That's that's literally it. The pen is the Sarasa zebra i i can i will link it this is the green one i did have the black one but i'm in a green green mood this year and the ink is the zebra dry sarasa dry it's this one i just took the thing out yeah it's this one in 04 um 04 i just have one on my desk that i use like for quick notes or to write on stuff so that's on my desk um but i took the refill oh it's actually 0.5 sorry i think it is that one i'm pretty sure it's the sarasa dry i really do like the sarasa dry um any other zebra i'm trying to think what other zebra insert is maybe i'm wrong but you guys saw the name on it it's the jf04 so that is it you guys that is my entire planner journal system this is the only things that i use daily weekly monthly and this stuff has been working for me for a while so this is i guess like a um you know not mid-year because we already passed mid-year so a autumn update I don't know because well, I mean we're at end of summer um, but yeah that is it you guys if you have any questions again feel free to drop a comment in the box and I will be sure to get back to you or you can DM me on Instagram I love chatting about planners and journals and I'm yeah that's it I hope you guys all have a great rest of your day and I'll catch you guys on the next one bye